Hey guys, welcome back to Physician Well. Today we're going to discuss whether you should be wearing shoes inside your home. In many countries, there are customs requiring people to remove their shoes before entering the residence. However, Americans have a stigma associated with wearing shoes in the home. Most people believe Americans are nasty because they invite toxins and bacteria in their home by the way of the sole of their shoes. So let's discuss whether you should be wearing shoes inside the house or reserving those for the outdoors. All right, so the first order of business is to debunk the myth that all Americans wear shoes in their home because it's just not true. In 2018, YouGov did a survey and 87% of Americans do not wear shoes in their homes. Now that seems a little high to me, but nonetheless, those same individuals, however, 50% of them do not require their guests to remove their shoes. Call me crazy, but I guess they're being polite. All right, so before we look at scientific data, Let's just think about what we can naturally assume about wearing shoes outdoors and then bring in those same shoes in the house. What we do know is that, I know for me in parking lots, I see a whole bunch of things. I see spit, <laughs> I see chewing gum, I've even seen condoms. So if you are walking on any of those items, one can naturally assume that it is possible that you can track that dirt and or bacteria into your home. I would think that most people would say that, right? Right. So it turns out in 2008, the New York Times tracked 10 people for two weeks who started out wearing brand new shoes, who wore those shoes outdoors, and then brought those same shoes inside the home. And what they found is that all of the shoes were contaminated and some of the shoes even spread E. coli inside of the house. So here's what I bet you didn't know. All dirt isn't bad. That's right. So truthfully, wearing your shoes in the house isn't necessarily a bad thing, especially if you're using that dirt to stimulate the immune system for your family. Even Dr. Ian Smith says, unless you are living on a farm or constantly around fecal matter, you probably shouldn't be worried about it. And you all know there's always an exception to the rule. And normally I am the exception. So if you have allergies like me, it's not a good idea to wear shoes in your home because allergies lead to people being very unhealthy. And at the end of the day, pollen can be tracked in your home by the soles of your shoes. But then there are times that not everything comes down to scientific data, right? Sometimes things come down to financing and funding and savings, right? So let's start with a little bit of story time. I remember when we purchased our first home, I decided I didn't want to wear shoes in the house and everybody was doing a great job. And I had back then like an orc carpet cleaner and my carpet, which was a very light color, probably like a light gray or so, really, really light though. It used to look wonderful. And my friends would come over and they would always give me compliments about it. And then one day someone decided to be lazy and we all just decided, forget it, we're gonna wear shoes in the house. Literally, I think it took less than 30 days for the carpet to start looking worn and I would shampoo it but regardless it always looked dingy and then before you know it or knew it, excuse me you could literally see the carpet fibers that were once here started to really really disintegrate um, into the nape of the carpet it's almost like if you've ever seen someone and you've gone to their home and they have this same traffic pattern and then you start to see the carpet just kind of go down, that was starting to happen. And we knew that we needed to replace the carpet, but the reality is we did not have the funds. So if you're in that situation and you don't have savings set aside 
for carpet replacement, you may not want to wear shoes in your home. All right, so what if you decide, I don't want any shoes in my home. What are you going to do to implement that process? Well, I do not wear shoes in our new home and neither does my family members, neither do my guests. What I would say is locate the exterior door that most people use to enter your home. And then make sure you have something like a shoe rack so that guests can take their shoes off and put the shoes on the rack. We actually have a designated space for this area and inside of the space I have baskets and the baskets have shoe covers in there. We have socks and we also have footies. So that's my way of welcoming my guests and still making them feel invited and giving them options so that they don't feel like they have to walk around with bare feet in my home. So if you decide to wear shoes inside your home, live on from all the articles that I read, you definitely will not die from it. <laughs> We're not gonna wear shoes in our home, but as I say all the time, your house, your rules. Let's continue the conversation in the comment section and let me know if you are a shoes in the house or a shoes outside of the house only type of person. Until next time, go ahead and hit that playlist. Bye.